Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Secretary Austin, why did the committee not get the testimony for today until 1035 last night? Were you guys not prepared? We, we were prepared. Uh, and again, I, uh, I don't know the specifics of uh, what, what last minute uh, uh, adjustments were being made at what level, but uh, we, we were prepared. Well, was it, it must not have been a level below you then, or you'd be aware of it, right? So it would have to be a level above you. In other words, did the White House withhold your testimony? General Milley, were you, did you have your testimony done before 1035 last night? We did, but the White House wasn't withholding my testimony, no. Uh, who, who, who was? Nobody. I mean, the OM, you have to submit, when you submit written documents, as you all know, you have to submit them to OMB. Right. Uh, they reviewed them in the afternoon. Uh, we got them back, um, I don't know, 18, 1900, something like that. And then uh, we made the changes and submitted them. And yes, we were late. But it wasn't you. Uh, no. Uh, the, it was OMB. Any okay. intent to block. Yeah. It, it was somebody's strategy, is my guess. just might not have been yours, but it clearly was somebody's. General McKenzie, a little, about a half hour ago, you said, we know for certain ISIS intends to attack us at home, or something to that effect, right? Is that correct? That's correct. So 20 years ago on September 11th, when the terrorist hijackers took over four aircraft and, and uh, attacked the homeland, all of them came here on a visa, Correct. Now, in the last 20 years, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Taliban, not, they, they haven't acquired ICBMs or a Navy or an Air Force, as far as we know. So if they are going to carry out that intent, they're going to have to get here themselves. And that means either through a, a visa program or as refugees across the southern border. My question to all of you is, isn't national security tied directly to good immigration security and do you feel like we're adequately prepared for to protect the homeland from uh, from visa holders and refugees? Senator, in the case of ISIS, I think we've done a remarkable job over the last two decades about hardening the entry process and making it very difficult for them to get their agents into the United States. And that's a matter of record just based on performance. The same thing with AQ. The larger discussion about immigration, I defer to, I defer to the Secretary and the Department. Well, I would submit to you that as good as the work's been done in the last 20 years, the, the last... Uh, six or seven months, it's been pretty well degraded, I would say. Others, immigration policy pretty important to national security? It, it absolutely is, Senator. And again, uh, I, I wouldn't want to, uh, again, that's the domain of Secretary Mayorkas. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that he and, uh, it, he and uh, the interagency are continuing to work that very hard. So. All right. According to CENTCOM press release, uh, General, post-strike, this is a quote, now post-strike reflections indicate that, that uh, Kabir Adi was directly connected to the ISIS-K leaders that coordinated the August 26th attack at, uh, at the airport. The way I read that, the actual ISIS-K leaders who coordinated the attack are still out there. Is that true? I'd prefer to talk about it in a private I thought you might. I look forward to that, and I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.